Today I'm going to introduce Netgear's new Wi-Fi 6 access points. The WAX610 and the WAX610Y are basically the same access points. Both are dual band, 2x2, two two, and AX1800. But the WAX610Y is a suitable outdoor access point. So let's open the box. So from the box we have a README first which instructs the user how to register the access point to Insight. And we have the access point itself. A installation guide and mounting brackets for the access point. So let's unwrap the access point. So at first touch of his access point, it is sleek and it has a metal backing. It has the power adapter, it has the LAN and PoE inputs, and it also has a reset button. So with this WAX610 access point, I do not have a power adapter. So I'm going to use the LAN and the PoE port. Here's my Netgear 510TXPP multi gig switch. It has 1 gig ports, 2.5 gig ports, and 5 gig ports. And also, it has a 10 gig uplink. So, currently, in my case, I have a 10 gig uplink to the internet. So, now I will connect the WAX610 to the 2.5 gig port. All right, so while it's booting, let's go to Insight and complete the onboarding process. The next following steps is to onboard the WAX610 with the Insight app. A couple of prerequisites. Pre-configure a organization, location, and a wireless SSID. So let's get started. Click on the Netgear Insight icon to open the app. From the organizations page, look for the organization we are planning to use. In our setup, we will use the Office Startup Organization. We will now click on the plus sign to add the WAX610 access point. We will now scan the QR code on the rear of the access point. Once the app finds the QR code, we will now select the small HQ location. We will now change the device name to Office Wi-Fi 01 and click Next and Continue. Now the WAX610 will reboot to onboard onto the Insight location with the pre-configured SSID. In addition to the onboarding of the WAX610 to Insight, the administrator has the ability to configure and create SSIDs from the Insight app. Currently, we will now create a guest SSID. We will name the guest SSID Guest Wi-Fi.
And now we're going to create a passphrase for the guest SSID. And lastly, we'll enable the client isolation and captive portal login capabilities. The process is now complete. We are now broadcasting the pre-configured SSID as well as the guest Wi-Fi SSID. Thanks for watching.